if you're headed down here to Space Theater Houston this weekend to celebrate the huge moon landing, you've got to come by the T-Mobile tech truck. Look behind me at how big and amazing this truck is, and I'm going to tell you all about it with the help of Steve Carlson with T-Mobile. How you doing, Steve? Thanks so much, Lauren. It's great to be here. The big question on everybody's mind is, what is 5G? Well, we use 4G technology on our phones today for yeah. things like shopping and banking and streaming Everything. our favorite TV shows. Right, That's right. right. Well, 5G is going to be so much faster, so we'll be able to do so much more. So now we're talking about having things like augmented and virtual reality as part of our everyday lives, or drones that will be able to, to you know, deliver people and things just about anywhere in the U.S. And just about everything we can imagine will be connected to the internet and you'll be able to get it right on your phone. I feel like 50 years ago, if the astronauts would have had 5G, things could have gone a little quicker, huh? That's right. Well, there is more computing power in your smartphone today by millions of times more than the astronauts had during the Apollo missions. I believe missions. that. I believe that. Now, Derek and Courtney wanted to know about the Ducati. Let's go and talk about it. You mentioned yes. augmented reality. Yep. So if I were to come over here and grab this tablet, and focus in on it, you can actually show some help on how to fix it. A guy will pop up. There we go. There, there he is. is. Yep. He's giving us instructions That's here. That's right. So this is an example of augmented reality, and it's really just a fancy term for being able to say you can get real-time information on your surroundings right on your phone. So in this instance, we're using augmented reality to diagnose problems with the engine, and our very own virtual mechanic is giving us step-by-step -step instructions and walking us oh, through Oh, I lost it him. There we go. He's there. I saw. That's so yeah. cool. It's almost like looking at him through the tablet without yep. him actually being That's there. That's right. Or imagine augmented reality in another way. Let's say you're walking down the street past your favorite clothing store, and you hold your phone up to the window, and you'll be able to find out, number one, is there a sale going on in the store, and number two, are there clothing items in my size? In my size. Oh, my God. That's every lady's fantasy, right? Just yeah. to know before you walk in the store. That's right. All so, through augmented reality. Let's walk over to the drone. I'm familiar with how a drone works. Usually it's to take pictures, maybe fly above. Yeah. This one's special. That's right. Yeah, drones are a lot of fun today with 4G. Fly around, like you're saying, take pictures, but they can only travel as far as their Wi Fi signals. They're all connected to Wi Fi. Exactly. With 5G, they're going to be connected to the cellular network. So now we're talking about drones that can fly deep into rural areas for disaster relief, for instance, to drop supplies, or you can attach cell sites to drones. Significantly bigger. That's right. And, wow. you know, people and things, like we're saying, you could um, connect cell tower or cell signals Amazing. sites to drones and fly them into areas that don't have service. So next to you, Steve, I see some wine bottles. You got my attention. It looks very yes. tasty, but there's something very special about these wine That's bottles. That's right. This is another example of augmented reality. Let's take a look. Got to get it right on the right We're spot. Right on the right spot. <laughs> so just oh, like here the. Here it comes. Yeah. Cheers to oh five new technology. This is just a taste of what's to come. So that's a fun message from our, our chief technology officer, okay. Neville Ray, about our network. But imagine being in a grocery store and you hold your phone up to a wine bottle. Mm -hmm. Using augmented reality, you can find out like a little bit more information about the vineyard where it came from. Wow. Or are there pairings, for instance, that would go with the wine? Since I'm not a wine connoisseur, I just like to drink it. That'd be very helpful for me that's in the right. store. So now we're going to move on to the big featured item. Let's walk yes. into the truck, Let's Steve. Check out Let's the see truck. what it's all about. And anybody that's down here this weekend can come in. It's totally free for anybody who's at uh, Space Center. We're going to talk a little bit more about that augmented reality, but with 5G, it's yeah. so fast, there's almost no delay. That's right. Okay. This is an example of what we use to demonstrate latency or how responsive a 5G okay, network watch, is. Watch the, the screens on this side. Watch. See that? There's a bit of a delay in me tossing the ball. That's 4G. Now with 5G, I do it again. It's almost instant. Am I right, Steve? That's right. And wow. that, that near zero latency is really important because if you want to have safer self-driving cars, you right. have to be able to respond nearly instantly. Immediately. That's awesome. That's right. I love that. All right. So the yeah. big screen behind you, yes. tell me what's happening here. All right. So one of the best things about 5G is when everything's connected to the internet, it's going to be really hard to lose something. Okay. So for, here's an example. You could put a sensor in a child's jacket and, you know, not only will you make sure that you won't lose the jacket right. of a child, but you, that same sensor in their jacket 
will also adjust for the outside temperature. So if the weather gets cold, the jacket will warm up. Or if your child gets too hot, the jacket will actually cool Steve, down. we need a jacket that's going to cool us off today. Where is that one? Right? Yeah. <laughs> so as far as pets, you can also keep the health of your pet, your dog? Absolutely. Uh, you know, pet collars with trackers in them are available today. So if Fido walks off, it's no problem. You can find them. But with 5G, that same sensor in their collar can monitor their health, too. I'm so excited. And we also heard that 5G is going to be making its appearance in Houston relatively soon. Yep, we don't have a specific timeline okay. for Houston, but we will be rolling out 5G nationwide next year. I love it. Nationwide next year. And if you are here at Space Center Houston for the Apollo 11 moon landing anniversary, you've got to come by. Steve, thank you so thank much. You. If you're on social media, hashtag T-Mobile Tech Truck. Derek and Courtney, back to you guys. Oh, I'm not giving these sunglasses back, by the way. They're, <laughs> they're mine. I don't them. They're all yours. <laughs> We were just about to ask if you could get two more pairs. By the way, I knew 5G was cool, but yeah. it is so much more. I'm especially interested in what it can do with drones. Unbelievable. So nice. Such cool stuff. Thanks so much, Lauren. Yeah. To learn more about 5G technology, just visit your local T-Mobile store. Log on to T-Mobile.com or simply give them a call at 800-T-Mobile.